It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Well, my friends, thanks for joining us on The Sam LaSant Show. Wow, do we have a great show for you today. We have an icon on The Sam LaSant Show, and where am I? I'm here at Fritzinger Town Senior Living Community, and I'll let you know why I'm here right after we talk to Judy. And Judy, first of all, thank you for allowing us to come here to do The Sam LaSant Show with this icon who's been a friend of mine for a, for a zillion years. Fritzinger Town living, uh, living Community, right? It's, it's a fabulous place. My father-in-law is here. He loves it. Tell us a little bit about Fritzgerd Town. Okay, we're located on Old Turnpike Road in Drums. We offer personal care, um, um, secure memory unit, and our independent living apartments. Now we had uh, Paul on yes. uh, on my show a couple times with the um, young lady from the uh, personal care, um, the dem uh, dementia unit, Lisa. Lisa, mm -hmm. and she explained everything about that. So and that's on YouTube. So if you want to know more about that, but you also have you take veterans, right? Yes, we do. Uh, we have veterans could apply for the veterans benefit, the veteran themselves, or if there's a surviving spouse, we could also apply for a uh, benefit for her as well. You know what I love about this place. And I, this is this is really f the truth. I mean, I'm no Paula for a long, long time. Yes. Everyone here is so great. They Everyone are. Everyone is so nice and personal. All the people that are here, they uh, they love it here. They do. And you have this entertainment, which is fantastic. Yes. We have oh. entertainment yeah. Yeah. daily. Well, we have entertainment every Friday yeah. and every holiday. Um, they have activities twice a day. They have it in the morning, in the afternoon, seven days a week. And today we happen to have Greg Palmer here. Yeah and they just love him. He lifts their spirits. He takes time after he's done singing to go around and talk to them. They just adore him. And folks, so we go, well, uh, of course, that's the icon I have, uh, Greg Palmer. Yes. And for those of you who know Greg, and you know the show is seen uh, on YouTube, it's seen on our app, so uh, there are friends of Greg that live all over the country, and they'll be able to watch uh, Greg on the Sam LaSant Show. And so thank you for You're allowing welcome. us to come down here. Thank you. Uh, now I'm going to uh, bring on this icon, of a personal friend of mine for many, many years. What has changed in his life? So the icon I'm talking about is my good friend here, Greg Palmer. Greg, it's so nice to see it's you. It's good to see you too, Sam. Boy, I'll tell you, it's amazing, folks, how he gets older and I get younger. Or is it, or is it the other way around? No, it's, <laughs> we're just there, Sam. <laughs> we're, we're just, just there. there. Um, it's, it's, it's always a pleasure. You know, we get together we, and we talk about different things. But um, here, you know, uh, you've been coming here. I want to talk about this, uh, you know, what you Absolutely. do. Okay. Absolutely. But, you know, um, for... Some people uh, that don't know Greg Palmer, mm -hmm. okay? You started where? You started in, in uh, West Hazleton, right? No, sir. I started in Hazleton. Hey, I'm sorry, Hazleton, okay. With my group, Stymie and the Rascals, and may I say, yeah. Dennis Moore, who just passed away, mm -hmm. was the drummer for Stymie and the Rascals. That's right. And I love you. Yeah. I love you, Dennis. Yeah. Uh, which was unfortunate. Yes. So you started with Stymie and Rascal. Yes, I and did. Then, and then where did you, then, then And you, then I, I was just singing around with other groups and then came in to play with a group called The New Breed. Uh -huh. And that came in to play with Salt and Pepper. That's right. That's, That's right. how that went. Yeah. So you had a vast experience. I mean, you had also, you performed many places, Atlantic yes. City, you know. Did you ever do Vegas? Uh, no, I've been to Vegas. I sang at a wedding in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. They flew me out. Yeah. But uh, I, and I, rem yeah. I remember many times my wife and I would sit and we would, if we were doing a, seeing a show in Vegas, saying, you know, Greg Palmer should be on that stage singing. And That's you've been telling me that for years, Sam. I wish you had brought me there. <laughs> No, you know what? what? We're going to find out why I shouldn't have brought you there because we're going to talk about what's has happened in your life. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and I, what are some of the fondest memories before we talk about what has trans, uh, transformed in your life and what you're doing, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and I'm sure the audience uh, will think it. What what was happened? Uh, look, some of the memorable things in your life that uh, you remember in, in the entertainment. Uh, field. Well, the highlight came from uh, meeting my friend, Mr. Engelbert Humperdinck who I've admired since Please Release Me. Mm -hmm. And then I got to meet Lou Rawls and Lionel Richie and people like that. But I, I would say the biggest blessing was singing with Stevie Wonder. Yeah. yeah. And what kind of a person was St is Stevie? He's very religious. You can feel it. Yeah. Without even talking to him, you can feel uh -huh. how in love with God he is. Yeah. Yes. And so when you, um, you know, we've had fortune mm -hmm. of 
you know, when I was doing the show with Jack Pines, which incidentally, folks, I'll show you a clip. When, when Greg was on our show with, uh, called, was at time, it's time for Sammy and Lane, Elaine Palance, Greg was one of the um, uh, interviewers, and remember Jack was interviewing you? Yes, yes, yeah? he did. And he, he paid you a great compliment, okay? Yes. Uh, you're a wonderful singer and you're a wonderful person. I think that's what he said on the show. Um, they were good days. Good they, they were, Sam. They were fun They'll days. never come again. When you had, um, in, in the entertainment field, yes. and sometimes when you meet a person who is a celebrity, uh, you try to, um, you know, you, you, you wonder what kind of life they have, yes. okay? And what, they have a talent that they give. We, you can see how the people react to you here, yes. okay? Um, what special talent do you think you were able to, that God gave you and you're able to share? Well, I, I gotta be honest with you, Sam. Um, I had talked about this a couple days ago, and. Some people ask me, why aren't you on America's Got Talent? I said, because it's not called America's Got Gifts. And my gift is from God. So I like to think of my gift, then my talent, not my talent, then my gift. So your, I don't want to say transformation because yes. you were on the entertainment field for a while. Yes. What was, what happened, not what happened in your life, but what mm -hmm. happened that you became more involved with um, scripture, more involved mm -hmm. with doing what you're doing here, and, mm -hmm. and, and I see how these seniors love you so mm -hmm. much, and what happened in your life? Well, I've, I've always had a close relationship with God. I've had a close relationship with Jesus. They have both always been there for me, even when I didn't realize they were there. And we don't need to go into that, but it became apparent to me that I was not driving this ship. Mm -hmm. Someone else was driving it. Mm -hmm. And when I stood still and I listened and I finally heard what he was trying to tell me all these years, um, I've gotten closer and closer and closer. So now we're inseparable. I think that's absolutely fabulous. You know, sometimes people in their lives have to hit the bumps in the roads, yes. okay? And I've hit, uh, yeah, I've hit a few of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you hit those bumps in the roads, you know, if you just think, you know, and I do the same thing with me. If you go sure. back in life and say, well, if I would have had um, the, the deep faith that I have now, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. how much better it would have been oh, yeah. when we're hitting those bumps, is that correct? That, that's absolutely correct. But one thing we must remember is everything in his time, not mine. So everything I did up until the point I started doing what I'm doing was a learning experience. It was grooming me. I was being tested because I was around people that did the drugs and the alcohol. So when he noticed that I was okay, that I was listening to him, then he just took that over. He took that over. Do you feel sometimes when people go through changes in life, like yes. you've gone through, not a major change but you become closer to God yes um, how do you then because you are a celebrity I mean you're well known well, well now wait you, you when, when you when we took a picture with here with Debbie and I, I remember about a month ago mm -hmm. when Debbie put it on her Facebook yes you we got so many hits yes. everyone loves you the worst Greg I'm mm -hmm. going to so with that being said uh, being a celebrity sometimes and people would say unfortunately we don't have there are some people who are bad. Yes. Some people who are very jealous, very envious, yes. and what they try to do is say, oh yeah, look at him now, but mm -hmm. remember when, you know, yes. see, go back to the past, like sure. you said. We've all had our mm -hmm. troubles in life, okay? Mm -hmm. How do you move forward sometimes? Because we're, we're, so you were in that position, so am I in that position. Yes. How do you move forward? Well, first of all, I don't look at myself as a celebrity. That's number one. Okay. Never, number two, it never went to my head to be this bigger than thou guy. I was making a living, I was out there doing what I thought I needed to do, and I enjoyed it to the max, because I entertained a lot of people. But it's all changed for me now. Okay, folks, I'm talking to Greg Palmer. Uh, we're here at Fritzinger Town Living Community. Okay, and we're, we're gonna end, we're, uh, uh, as we go to break, you're gonna hear Greg singing a few songs, uh, because and you'll see uh, he's still as good and even maybe better than he was before. We'll be back right after this. We're gonna go down Broadway. Start spreading I'm to be part 
the pit. New York, New York. The Yankees are back up on the shoe. All along the two street. Right through the very heart of it. New York, New York. I want to wait for it in the city that never sleeps. And find out, king of the hill, top of the beat, leaves a little town. Oh, right through the very heart of it, New York, New York. You know, I squeezed in here for one reason, because I've heard this guy sing, I love him, and I want to ask him right now, Greg. Jack. Where? Where are you appearing? Where can uh, see I'll be hey, at the anyway. <laughs> Victorian Inn. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, all of November, December, right up to New Year's. Oh, we You'll be there New Year's Eve. Oh, absolutely. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Yes. I think that's fantastic. It is. Well, I'm working. <laughs> you what? I'm working. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome back to the San Luis Sancho, folks. Remember, 24-7, you can watch all of our shows on SSPTV.com and download the app. Yes, download the app, SSP TV. Uh, and if you do not have cable, which you should, but go to your YouTube channel and search SSP TV. Uh, and you can subscribe. And also, the shows are translated into Spanish uh, so everyone could enjoy all the shows. The interesting thing about the app, folks, it's all local neighborhood shows. And so, that's the big difference that I like to present to you when it comes to Samsung Productions. Now, I'm here with as I say, an icon, a friend of mine for many, many years, Greg Palmer. Uh, Greg, so we talked a little bit about, you know, different things in your life. So where are we today? Today, Sam, I'm having the time of my life. This journey that I'm on started in 1999 up in a place called Lackawanna Healthcare. I never knew that I would be on this journey, but I am. So that's 19 years I'm doing these nursing homes. And everywhere I go, it's amazing. It's amazing. What do you find so special? Because there's such a thing as when an entertainer is getting paid to entertain, yes. he gets on stage and he has to perform. Yes. He's off stage. It's, I did my job. I'm out of here. Yes. Okay. There's a big difference between you coming and doing a show mm -hmm. and then when you're done, say, all right, hit the road. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. I've performed. Okay. Yes. So there is a big difference, isn't there? A uh, big time, yeah. big time. Because when I was on the road and I was doing those kind of shows and you're doing interviews and newspaper clippings, this is better than all of that. Uh, to come into these homes and love these people, to give them what God has given me, the gift, there's no price to that, Sam. There's no price to that. So here you are, yes. you go to uh, many places, you go to uh, Fritzsburg in town, you yes. go to some other places in town. I do every, every uh, home in Hazel. Okay. Yes. Why? Because I believe, and this is, this is in my heart, I believe, that God has chosen me to go into these facilities, to these people who need to hear about Him and who need to be spiritually lifted up. And that's where I'm at. Okay, so now when you come to a place like Fritzinger yes. Town and you see all these people yes. enjoying your music, mm -hmm. and you see sometimes when we were here last month, I think it was a, a, it was a, a, a sort of like an emotional moment, I think, for my wife and I as mm -hmm. well, uh, looking at the people's faces yes. and what they're thinking about in their, in their life. and. And, and their families that don't come and see them, yes. that avoid them, uh, and the emptiness, you know, and here you are singing songs and, and I see tears coming down these people's faces, yes. you know, uh, because they have, they have a family, but they don't have a family yes. because their families are sometimes too busy mm -hmm. to worry about their parents. Absolutely. What do you say to those people? I, I tell those people that you're missing them. You're missing out on it because these people in these facilities have so much to give. 
so much to offer. I can't tell you how many times people stop me before I leave just to tell me their life story mm -hmm. and just to listen and to hold their hand and to cry with them. This is my family. Every facility, I do about 15 a year, Sam, from Philadelphia to Berwick, Scranton, Wilkesbury. I am so blessed to do this and I will do it until the end of time. We saw before we started the show, yes. and this is a fact, folks, I'm not putting this on, the gentleman came here in a, wee, in a wheelchair, and, and he looked at you with sincere eyes and says, are you leaving, are yes. you staying? Yes. And you said, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to be, and he, had, he started crying because he, he loves you that much. Yes. And could you imagine, maybe, I don't know who the person is, mm -hmm. but maybe that's the only thing he has right now. Absolutely. Is Greg Palmer coming here singing mm -hmm. and holding him and hugging him and touching him. Yes. And, and that, that's what breaks your heart when, when you see people like that. I've been coming here to see my father-in-law and it's like, I look at some people here and say, why, why, why don't their kids come and see mm -hmm. them? They're and I, I know I'm harping on this, yes. because I could see this. H how does that make you feel? Well, it makes me feel that much more in tune to them because what I am doing is number one, what my Father in Heaven wants me to do. And the songs that I am doing for them are the songs that I've been singing all my life. I want you to realize, I did not go home and put together a repertoire to do these homes. These songs are my kids. I've been singing them. So when I'm singing these songs and they're singing along with me, that's, there's, there's no price to that, Sam. And when they cry like that young man did, because he's been coming to see me since I've been coming here, and he's always hugged me and told me, I love you please come back again. And that's what this is about. That, it's not about me. It's about him because he puts it in my heart, into my mouth, and out to their heart. So it's a whole different ball game for me. You could offer me a suitcase to go to Vegas. I would not take it because I know the journey I'm on is better than that suitcase. So you feel rewarded. Uh, you feel peaceful. Uh, and you're able to convey that to the people that you're entertaining. Big time. You mentioned something yes. that is very important. Um, you mentioned something that you got a gift yes. and you got a talent. Yes. Folks, I'm talking to Greg Palmer. When we come back, we're going to talk about the gifts and talents that so many of us have, but are we using them? Are we using those talents in the right way? And how positive are we? versus how negative we are. And if we have people, or friends or relatives in assisting living, are we visiting them? We'll be back right after this. Here's some more music with Greg as we go to break. Welcome back to the Sam LaSan Show, folks, on location, Fritz Green Town and Living Community with an icon in the music field, uh, Greg Palmer. Greg, uh, as you said, you go around and you perform and, and, and warm people's home uh, hearts, especially seniors or in uh, living um, communities. We talked about talents, we talked about gifts. God gives us so many gifts and so many talents, okay, and sometimes we throw them away, okay? Yes. You didn't do that. No because I'm a firm believer in him that he always gives us something. And if he sees that you're not using it, he will take it and give it somewhere else. And that's why we must use those gifts, those talents, to help out people who don't get that. I mean, can you, can you hear this? That I am now singing to people at one time would not even let me in their house Sam, because that's the way they were brought up. And now, here we are. It's like I'm gone full circle. Now I get to sing to you at this nursing facility and you realize there's no difference from me. It took us this 
turn of events yes. to get to this point. Yes. How many people have come to me? Do you know my daughter? You know my son. This one went to high school with you. This one. But guess what? I think to myself, God, you have a sense of humor because these are the same people that would not talk to me. But here we are. Yeah. Here yeah, we are. Yeah. That's the rewarding thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. The, that's the rewarding thing. And that's yes. the thing that I think that people are missing out on when it comes to uh, looking at seniors. Uh, mm -hmm. I always say to the seniors, um, we've only just begun. Yes. We've only just begun because there's so much that they can contribute to life. Sure. We have about a minute left. Tell our viewers mm -hmm. why it's so important for them to share mm -hmm. their time with their loved ones as you share with them. The importance and the significance of that is that when you spend time with people who are in these facilities, whether they be a relation to you or not, there is so much knowledge that you can gain. Instead of going out and saying, oh, I'm gonna go party tonight and I'm gonna go do this, do that. Stop in one of these facilities. Give your time, take your time, give it a listen. If nothing else, if nothing else, you will find that they got so much to offer and they are our treasures. The best of luck to you, my friend. Thank you, Sam. God it's bless all, you. It's always been great to have you as a friend, and I wish you many more years of doing what you're doing. Okay? I will do it till I okay. stop. Okay, well, we're going to end the show, folks, with more music uh, from Greg Palmer, and you all remember him, but take it into consideration what he said. Visit your family, visit your friends at these facilities. Enjoy the music. Peace. But life goes on, and this old world will keep on turning. Let's just be glad we had this time to spend together. There'll be time in the sadness. When you let me, help me with this, lay your tears upon my pillow, hold your warm and tender body close to mine, hear the whisper of the raindrops blowing soft against the window and make me leave that you love me one more time everybody for the good time oh yeah I know you remember this Get along, and you'll find another. But I'll be here if you should be here. You ever want me? Don't say a word about your love.